Colorado is a great place, and with the Rocky Mountains taking up a large portion of the state, it's no wonder Colorado has become one of the ski capitals of the world. But Colorado has more to offer than ski resorts, and many of those things exist in my hometown, the capital city of Denver. That's why I wanted to share with you the top five things to do while in Denver. Number one, Red Rocks. Red Rocks is a giant open air amphitheater located near the small town of Morrison at the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. It's a short drive from Denver and well worth a trip because there's nothing quite like it anywhere else in the world. Though the rocks surrounding the amphitheater create an awe-inspiring atmosphere, they serve another purpose other than visual appeal. The formation of the rocks creates a perfect setting for acoustic music, which is why it's become one of the most famous music venues in the state of Colorado. While I show you guys a little more of the Red Rock scenery, I just want to give a quick shout out to All Saints Clothing, which is the company that provided the outfit I'm wearing in this part of the video. This is not a brand deal, but rather a personal thank you to All Saints for sending me this outfit. I'll be sure to leave the link to the website in the description section below, and hopefully you guys like the brand as much as I do. After visiting Red Rocks, you've probably worked up an appetite, so we're going to move on to the second thing on our list, to try some of Denver's famous green chili. Green chili refers to the stew-like entree that's made with pork, garlic, tomatoes, and of course, hatched chili peppers. Green chili is typically served as part of a Mexican cuisine, which is why I took my friends Wiley and Tyler to one of my favorite hometown Mexican restaurants, Torres. One of the most popular dishes at Torres is the Torres Special, which comes with a burrito, an enchilada, a chili relleno, all of which, of course, is covered with a ton of that famous green chili. Now that we've completely stuffed ourselves, we head on over to number three on our list, the Butterfly Pavilion. The Butterfly Pavilion opened in 1995 as the first non-profit invertebrate zoo in the United States. Over 5,000 animals make their home in the pavilion, many of which live in a tropical rainforest setting that houses almost 1,600 different butterflies. Unlike other zoos where you're not allowed to interact with the animals, the rainforest is an open room where butterflies flutter right in front of your face and sometimes even land directly on your shoulder. I visited the pavilion when I was a kid, and 20 years later I still remember how fun that was. So I can't recommend this place enough. And who knows, a butterfly might show you some love too. Or maybe it won't. Once you've explored the pavilion, the aquarium, and met their famous tarantula rose, it's time to move on to quench our thirst at the fourth stop on our list, one of Denver's famous craft breweries. Colorado is known for its market of craft beers, so we decided to pay a visit to a spot downtown called the Strange Craft Beer Company. These breweries craft their beers on site. Of course, there's usually a bar at these breweries where you can order a flight of samplers that displays the wide array of flavors offered by the breweries themselves. And what better way to enjoy these beers than while watching the Broncos defeat the Panthers in Super Bowl 50. Visiting a Colorado brewery is something to check off your bucket list since over 10% of all craft beers originate in Colorado. So raise a glass and cheers to that and let's move on to the fifth and final thing on our list. Number five on this list was originally supposed to be the Molly Brown House Tour. Unfortunately, the museum wouldn't let us film inside the house, but I highly recommend you check it out if you ever make it to Denver. Molly Brown's house is located downtown, which is also home to one of Denver's greatest attractions, the 16th Street Mall. Near the 16th Street Mall, you can find Denver's Capitol Building, the Convention Center, and, of course, Union Station. The 16th Street Mall is a great place to pass the time for visitors and locals alike. So if you're visiting Denver, I highly suggest you add this as one of your places to visit. That wraps up my list of the top five things to do while you're in Denver. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, keep on traveling. That wraps up the five things that I think are kind of cool to do in Denver. If I missed anything on this list, let me know in the comment section below. And please give this video a like. And that's all I have for right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.
How many other doorsteps have you been on? I've Travelers. been to one. one uh, this is one? my second time doing one of these surprise visits. What? If you guys want me to do a little surprise visit, leave your city in the description section below and put your Instagram handle next to it so I can pay you a little surprise visit myself.